My name is Caitlin Naylor, and I am an MRC postdoctoral training fellow with Nutrition Theme at the Medical Research Council Unit, The Gambia. My project is looking at the role of the hormone leptin and the regulation of neutrophil response. Leptin is a hormone produced by the adipocytes and is a nutritional status indicator, signaling to cells that there is energy available for responses. It is also a cytokine and is produced in response to infection and inflammation. Leptin signaling has a variety of effects on a variety of cell types, but the ones we are most interested in is the fact that it seems to be a powerful regulator of immune response. Normal leptin signaling has the effect of being a nutritional licensor, signaling to cells that there is enough energy for a proper microbicidal response. In the environments of reduced leptin, it has been observed that there is reduced cell function, concomitant with increased infection susceptibility. In environments of increased leptin, the cells usually have increased cell function. The, the question remains, however, of the extent of leptin regulation and the importance or magnitude of the role of leptin in cell responses. Now, leptin signaling has been found to be important in a variety of different immune cells that have been looked at. However, neutrophils have come to our interest as the neutrophil infiltration response has been shown to be affected by the leptin environment in many different infection models. Therefore, we've chosen neutrophils to focus on for this project. Leptin signaling is normally managed by the leptin concentration in the body. For example, in malnutrition, there are very low le le leptin levels, and in after, after inflammation, there are much higher in le leptin levels. However, leptin signaling can also be altered by genetic polymorphisms. The Q223R leptin receptor polymorphism results in reduced signal transduction emanating from the leptin receptor and is also correlated with increased susceptibility to several bacterial and protozoal pathogens. Thus, we've chosen this polymorphism to focus on in order to investigate leptin signaling in neutrophils. While we are very interested in how leptin may be mediating the, the immune dysfunction observed in malnutrition, malnutrition is a complicated condition. Leptin is not the only molecule that is altered, and it can be very difficult to tease apart individual roles. By focusing on the polymorphism, we hope to avoid certain nutritional confounders while also investigating subtle, subtler roles of leptin signaling. Utilizing the Kennepa Biobank, a DNA repository of 11,000 individuals in the West King region of the Gambia, we can identify and recruit children who are homozygous for either the normal Q allele or the polymorphic R allele. We then have a, an array of assays designed to test neutrophil function that will be performed on whole blood samples. These assays will be performed immediately to test the differences between genotypes and function in a normal leptin environment, as well as after incubation with increased leptin concentration from 25 to 100 nanograms per mil of leptin to recreate what may be happening after an infection. We will compare the two genotypes and this will also allow us to assess the role of leptin as a potential priming agent. Through these investigations, we hope to achieve greater understanding of how leptin regulates the immune response and thus how nutritional status is influencing disease susceptibility.